bisection method also works with trigonometric functions. The same procedure applies. Check it out here in Numerical Solutions to CE Problems. The problem is to find the root nearest the origin for the function f of x as 3e e raised to 2x minus 2 cosine of 0 0.78. The iteration should be accurate to three decimal places. Cosine of 0 0.78 is taken as radians. The first step is to look for the initial values through assumption. If we let x equal to 0, f of x becomes positive 1.5782. If x is 1, f of x is 20.7453. We see that the trend is rising as x gets bigger. We try x as negative 1. f of x is then computed as 3e raised to 2 times negative 1 minus 2 cosine of 0 0.78 which results to negative 1.0158. The x interval for the sine jump is then taken as x from negative 1 to 0. When the initial values are graphed, the lower x limit yields a negative y, and the upper x limit also yields a positive y. Thus, the curve trend rises. Completing the table, we place negative 1 as A, since this is the lower X limit. 0 is placed on B, the upper X limit. Complete the row for the first iteration. So solve for C as the average of negative 1 and 0, and that is negative 0 0.5. Using this as X into the function, F of C is then taken as negative 0.3182. The negative sign of f of c means that c should replace a as it is the column for negative. Now replace a with negative 0 0.5, but b remains as 0. The new c is then half of negative 0 0.5 plus 0, which is negative 0 0.25. Plug this into the function and get 3e raised to 2 times negative 0 0.25 minus 2 cosine of 0 0.78, which is equal to 0 0.3978. f of c is positive, so c replaces b this time. The third row then starts with a is negative 0 0.5, just the same. b is now negative 0 0.25. C is then computed as half of negative 0 0.5 plus negative 0 0.25 to give negative 0 0.375. Place this value into the function and get negative 0 0.0047. F of C is turned out as negative again, which means C replaces A. The fourth iteration starts with A being negative 0 0.375 and B is negative 0 0.25. C is then computed as negative 0 0.375 plus negative 0 0.25 all over 2 and have negative 0 0.3125. This is then plugged into the equation which yields positive 0 0.184. F of C being positive would mean that C replaces B. 
the fifth iteration keeps A at negative 0 0.375. B becomes negative 0 0.3125. C is computed as half of negative 0 0.375 plus negative 0 0.3125, making negative 0 0.3438. Plug this into the function and have 3e raised to negative 0 0.3438 minus twice of cosine 0 0.78, giving 0 0.0867. Being positive instructs C to replace B. For the next iteration, A remains as negative 0 0.375 and B is updated as negative 0 0.3438. C is then the average of negative 0 0.375 and negative 0 0.3438, which is negative 0 0.3594. Place this value into the equation to have f of C as 0 0.0403. Being positive, this implies that C will replace B. Continue the iteration with the same procedure. A is still negative 0 0.375, and B is the updated C, which is negative 0 0.3594. C is then computed as negative 0 0.3672 from half of negative 0 0.375 plus negative 0 0.3594. Plug this into the equation and get 3e raised to 2 times negative 0 0.3672 minus 2 cosine of 0 0.78 to get 0 0.0176. Another positive value of f of c, which means c again replaces b. The succeeding iteration then starts with a as negative 0 0.375 just the same. B is now negative 0 0.3672. C is then negative 0 0.3711, solved from half of A plus B. F of C is then 0 0.0064 after plugging C into the function. Note that F of C is approaching 0, but since it is required to have 3 decimal accuracy, we still need to iterate more. The ninth operation has A of negative 0 0.375 and B of negative 0 0.3711. C is then computed as negative 0 0.373 from half of negative 0 0.375 and negative 0 0.3711. F of C is then 3E raised to negative 0 0.373 minus 2 cosine of 0 0.78, which results to 0 0.0008. This value still can be rounded to 0 0.001, so another iteration is needed. The positive sign of f of c means that c should replace b once more. The tenth iteration has a of negative 0 0.375, and B as negative 0 0.373. C is then negative 0 0.374, which makes F of C as negative 0 0.002. F of C jump to a negative value and it is larger than the 3 decimal accuracy. C will replace A this time. The next iteration has A of negative 0 0.374 and B remains at negative 0 0.373. C solve as negative 0 0.3735 with F of C as negative 0 0.0006. This value can still be rounded up to two decimal places accuracy, so another iteration should be made. For the twelfth iteration, A is now negative 0 0.3735 and B remains as negative 0 0.373. C is solved as negative 0 0.375 plus negative 0 0.373 all over 2 
and get negative 0 0.3733. Use this to find f of c, which eventually results to 0 0.3001. This satisfies the condition of accuracy to three decimal places, so this ends the iteration, where c is then equal to negative 0 0.3733. This is the x root we are looking for.